Hello Magic fans, welcome to another unboxing video. We're actually opening a Commander Legends Dungeons & Dragons Battle for Baldur's Gate uh, bundle. Um, I think it's maybe a better value than buying a box of set boosters because this already contains eight uh, uh, set boosters from the set. Um, a promotion that we have in the Asia Pacific region uh, when you buy Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate is this nice dice pouch so it's a leatherette maybe i don't know kind of leather material i'm not really sure a uh, pouch it's a drawstring pouch a uh, nice quality and it does contain this set of dice so we have three d6s there regular d6s in this like slate gray uh, color and then it does have a, a it's actual d20 and it has the magic symbol over there as well as I think it's a D10. Again, uh, replace the zero or the 10, whichever you use it for, is replaced by the magic symbol. So I, I think that's a nice promotion uh, <laughs> for this set. So you have a set of die you can use in case you need to roll some dice. And then, yeah, so the bundle contains your basic lands, 10, 20 foil, 20 non-foil. It's an oversized D20. Um, not a spin down and then you have eight set boosters a wand of wonder in an alternate art in the bundle box again uh we're using the, the watsi has been using this no plastic packaging uh, for the bundles since kamigawa which i absolutely like it does contain a big copy of undercity so it'll match with, you know, if you bought the Dungeons & Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms bundle, then you have one of the, you know, three of the big dungeons from that set. And this will work if you're completing the set for some reason. Yeah, so I, I, I do like that they uh, included this with the bundle. There's a mini poster with a map of Baldur's Gate. And of course, the bundle has art of Minsk and Boo. Right? And in a part of the packaging, you'll see some uh, dividers and counters that you might use if you're playing. And then this contains our pla in a paper pack, so they're basic lands. And of course, the Wand of Wonder and the alternate art. Uh, and then we have our eight set boosters and our d20 it's it's like a in a almost bronzy color nice so oversized d20 and then this is the usual uh, spin down d20 okay so let's open our packs to see what we get so art card, so it's a Cultus of the Absolute, and the um, Etched, and an Intellect Devourer, right. Signed art card. Fireball. Okay. Diana here. Kadira, Caller of the Small, Artal, Al Altar of Bale, and a John Irenica Shattered One Foil. Wilson, Refined Grizzly, <laughs> Cultus of the Absolute, and a Celestia Key Rune from the list. The Council of the Four, 
Gale, Water Deep Prodigy. <laughs> nice. Archivist of Ogma. Okay. Lightning Bolt. Ganax, Elminster's Simulacrum, an Asterion the Decadent, last three packs, Mazzy, Master Chef, Ascend from Avernus, Nine Fingers Keen, Lazel, Valakit's Champion, Shameless Charlatan, <laughs> Nice Displacer Kitten, and Spoils of Adventure from the list. And then our last pack. Another Showcase Lightning Bolt. A Raphael Fiendish Savior. Acolyte of Bahamut, another Mazzy True Sword Paladin, and that's it. So I don't think we had. Oh, we had one Mythic. So, uh, yeah, Displacer Kitten is a good pull, as well as uh, uh, here's our Mythic Elminster Simulacrum. But it's nice. We also got an Archivist of Ogma. Uh, I, I do like Altar of Bale. There we go, and we get one. We did get a, a rare etched, two, uh, Gale, and I think the third one, right? Yeah, and the Cultist of the Absolute. There we go. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you get a chance to play this set. I know <laughs> there's not much uh, exp you know, EV for, for this set, but it is a fun set to draft with your friends. So yeah, um, I do have. I do hope you have a chance to play the set if you don't buy any of the packs at all so you can you can experience the the gameplay so thanks for watching bye